Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris, and you're listening to a podcast that believes in dreams, that places trust in the magic of imagination, that is always the first star to the right, and where the light in the window is always on. Join as we discuss the views from Walt's apartment. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Walt's Apartment Podcast. We're here to cover all things Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. We're brought to you by DisneySider.com and our sponsor, Getaway Today. I'm joined by a group of like-minded Disney fans from all over the country. We've all assembled to share our love of all things Disney with you. As always, we hope you enjoy the view from Walt's Apartment. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday night. How are you guys doing? Walt's Apartment Live. How's everyone doing tonight? Sam, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh i not going to say too much because I know it's still early, but I need therapy after watching <laughs> right? Loki today. Right. We'll dive into a little bit. We will not say give any spoilers on here. We are recording the Marvel Tribe right after this. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it was crazy stuff. Amber, good to see you. How Wait, are you? You recording Wait. the Marvel Tribe tonight? Yeah, you want to be on with us? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, I haven't watched it yet. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, yeah, then you The can, one yeah. time I'm able to join, <laughs> and I didn't get to watch it yet today. Oh. No, the reason that we're recording the Marvel Tribe tonight is because, um, as you can tell, David's not here. David is out with uh, Ethan at his wrestling uh, awards thing. Congratulations, Ethan. But David leaves for Disneyland this weekend, and uh, Sam leaves for vacation, I believe, tomorrow or, or Friday. Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday. So um, next week, it's going to be me, Amber, Brianne. Brianna and um, whoever else will join us. So, um, yeah, because everyone else will be on vacation. So, um, yeah. Oh. But if you want to join us, you can listen to everything, but you probably don't want to hear the whole no, breakdown of the I show know, before I you watch don't. it. Not, yeah. not based on what I walked into yeah, just it's, a few moments ago. <laughs> we'll, we'll, <laughs> where we'll I had to be like, about, no, no, time out. Stop talking. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit in and, and, and the Marvel segment. segment. David was... David has some bold, a bold statement that we're going to discuss a little bit more that Amber actually has some good ammunition against that. But I want to introduce our guest tonight, um, Mr. Joey from a Disney Universe podcast is back with us. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, great. Thanks for inviting me again. It's Dude, always, uh, you're fun. always welcome. I told you that <laughs> whenever you want to come. And I kind of have to have you on because I'm leaving for Disneyland next Thursday. So I need oh, to pick, nice. your brain, pick your brain a little bit and uh, sure, I'll talk, just... talk, talk a little Disney. I want to talk about... Did you eat? Did you eat at Pims? Yes, I did, uh, okay. and it was delicious. What'd you have? Well, just let's just do it now. What'd you have? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> me and my co-host Ryan, we got we kind of did a little uh, share shareable. So we we tried the, uh, and I, sh I probably should have prepared better, but the giant chicken sandwich with the slider bun. How good was it? I liked it a lot. He didn't yeah. like it, but he's picky. Okay. So. okay. If Ryan, if you're watching, you're picky. Um, then we had the <laughs> we had the giant pretzel, and. Yes. That was pretty good, but yeah. recently up here in Sacramento, we've been going to uh, this German uh, pub that makes them. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but uh, it, it was pretty good there. Uh, then we also had the chocolate smash chocolate bar, which is like, yeah, it's like a brownie a and a Hitler. Snickers combined. Oh my! It, it is a Snickers, a Three Musketeers, a Milky Way, a brownie, oh, oh. It, all combined with peanut butter. My new favorite snack at Disneyland. 
So. Yeah, it's anyone that's had that said it's like just it's like a chocolate attack, and it's just absolutely amazing too. Yeah. Then then we did have the um uh, the 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 green drink. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what it's called, but that was delicious. That was okay. a, a mixture of like Sprite, Mountain Dew with a little bit of vanilla in it. So that was really mm-hmm. good. Uh, then we had the Terran treats, the green churro that's rolled up like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, how was that? Eh. Yeah, pineapple it, it, flavored churro. I didn't taste pineapple, which really? is weird because because we're trying to figure out what it was, and someone said pineapple. I'm like, oh, okay, well maybe. So that was all right, but with uh, the dessert I liked it was I forget what it's called, but it was like the chocolate lava cake with like the purple. Uh, okay. cream inside, and that was really good too. Uh, Danny's asking Pingo Dose. Is that is that it? Might be. Okay. I can't. Re- I was I was all social media and media uh, in while while <laughs> right. he, uh, he he ordered everything. So, and um, then on my own, I tried the uh, Pim's uh, drink flight, mm-hmm. which was pretty good. Um, I was actually going for the molecular meltdown, which is a imperial stout with the ice cream, uh, vanilla bean ice cream, and marshmallows. Mm. Oh, but wow. the mobile order was full, and the standby was long, so I just went to the mobile order for the flight. Nice. And that was pretty good. Nice, so. right on. So, did you try the? Uh, did you get? Were you able to try the blood, the blood orange beer? That was in the flight. Was it? How was it? It was pretty good. It was. It was. It was good. The the highlight of that. I'm. I'm a. I I like all beers except like sours. So there's like a a white claw drink, but I know mm-hmm. that's kind of popular right now. So <laughs> right. But uh, so that was there. Their blood orange was pretty good, and a an IPA. Um, I had a list of where they're from, and the stout, uh, which was a, was the same place that did the uh, molecular meltdown, and that was probably right. the highlight of the flight. Which actually have here. Oh yeah, that's the ruler with the cups. That's yeah. So it says Pim on them. I'll just that is so kind of cool. hard to see now. Yeah, but yeah, it's a giant. Oh, I'm a mess. Giant <laughs> ruler, and that's all these little cool. symbols mean something. Then property of PIM Laboratory. That's pretty cool. So overall thoughts of Avengers Campus, what'd you think? I liked it a lot. Um, it is small. If you know Bugs Land, it is yeah, a small yeah. land. Um, but the pictures and videos do not do it justice when you're in there. Um, the details, I mean, it's 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 amazing. I mean, making certain buildings look old. Mm-hmm. I always like that better than making something look newer and futuristic. Right. So they have the Spider-Man um, building. Half of it's like an old um, Stark uh, Motors building, and it looks old and it's really cool. And you got the spider bots everywhere, and little Easter egg graffitis everywhere. Right. And, um, the Captain or the Doctor Strange area was really cool, especially at yeah. night. I missed the show, but I mean that whole area is so cool. I've heard mixed reactions on the show back. And yeah, forth. yeah, you know. It. it I don't know. <laughs> so then the area where the uh, e ticket attraction is going to be with the Quinjet is mm-hmm. seeing that up, up close in person looks awesome. And uh, especially right next to uh guardians of the galaxy, it actually fits in now Yeah, and looks nice and pretty. That's awesome. And you were there the first day of no masks, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I know I saw on your Instagram when you're driving down, your people are telling, I was telling you, I'm like, Hey, look, there's no, no mask starting tomorrow. And you're like, is that true? And people are telling you, yeah. When you're driving down, but yeah. And so I'm how, driving. So I'm like, what's and, going on? <laughs> that's right. Cause it's safety first. So, um, yeah. Which, cause we went to, uh, downtown Disney for dinner and it was all mask and, you know, try to take a drink of something and no, oh, put your mask on. And next day gone. Right. And the, the capacity is still at 35. There was mm-hmm. really bad media coverage uh, saying how Disney Disneyland's now at full capacity and had pictures of Harbor. Oh, they weren't even through security yet right? <laughs> on those pictures. And after once everything spreads out, it was perfect. We didn't cool. wait longer than 30 minutes for anything. Perfect. Well, we're, we're glad to have you here. Welcome back again. Um, tell us about your podcast. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent, but that's what oh, we no. do here. <laughs> so, um, so tell us about your podcast, what you guys do, what you guys talk about, when it comes out. Well, we haven't come out in a while, but uh, Disney okay. Universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Disney Universe, uh, we talk about everything. Disney, Marvel, uh, Lucasfilm, Pixar, Muppets, and Parks, nice. Entertainment, Movies. So, um, yeah, I got my two co-hosts, uh, Ryan and Christy. Mm-hmm. And we, we're just, it's it's cool because we're like different ages and like, you know, kind of uh, yeah. different, kind of pretty similar to your guys' uh, right. group here. So that I think that's why it kind of works out. But schedules have been a little tight recently. 
Oh yeah. And uh, once again, uh, I told you guys, but not your listeners. I'm, my voice is gone, so that's why I'm a little. <laughs> nah, it's all good. So. It's all good. Uh, I hear you on the age difference. We're the, we're kind of the same way. You have uh, you have uh, me, who's the oldest, and I think probably Brianna's the youngest, or or Sam might be the youngest. I'm not sure, but yeah, we we run the gamut here, and we all have our special. No, I'm sorry, Jade is the youngest. I apologize, Jade. Oh, Jade is the youngest. Yeah. Jade, the tattoo artist. How's she doing? She's doing great. She's Good. done. She just uh, has to wait for a state exam and to save up enough money to buy all of her equipment. You know, yeah. those things aren't cheap. So she has to buy her chair and yeah. all the ink. And now that she's out of school, she doesn't get to use the school stuff anymore. So. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, she has good lines, though. I saw her her tattoo. She has some really, really good lines. So She has a Facebook page now, so everybody should look it up. The link is in our show notes mm-hmm. for her for her page. If anyone isn't following it, definitely go on and follow and check out. all the geek geek inking stuff so that's you know, awesome if you're in southern oregon eventually and want to hit her up for some geeky tattoos there we go so fourth of july is coming up this weekend um th- hence that's why we're recording the marvel tribe tonight plus people will be gone on fourth we usually record on sunday night so um joey what, what are your fourth july plans what do you got you, anything going on down there oh, I, i'm just happy to have a day off there you go <laughs> <laughs> I, I i've been uh non-stop since my trip down yeah uh, from uh, driving, then the working the next day, then work, then my sister's wedding, then so. Well, congratulations! I saw the pictures. Oh. Congratulations, to your oh, sister. thanks. Definitely. And uh, <laughs> it was it was a good one. They're in Hawaii now, but yeah, just to relax and maybe watch some old uh, old school Yankee Doodle Dandy. That's kind there of a tradition. Yeah, some old school movies. Yeah, so, barbecue, of course. For sure, for sure. Um, I got a Blackstone for Father's Day, so I, I used it. I've used it once already. I'm going to make carne asada on oh, on the Fourth nice. of July, so that'll be my first big thing. We are doing absolutely nothing. My my daughter, my daughter, her boyfriend, and my other daughter and my grandson are going to Disneyland tomorrow. So me and my wife have the two year old. So um, that's what we're doing for the Fourth of July <laughs> is watching it. Watching he's not even two. He's like 18 months old, and and um. He's not listening, but Ryan's a terror. So, I mean, <laughs> but, but, but um, yeah, he looks at you and just throws stuff on the ground and just smiles at you. And he looks at you again. And Sam's probably used to that in her kindergarten class as well. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. We're not going to the parade. We're not doing anything. It's 110 degrees here. We're just going to chill because they get back on, on the fourth, like at one o'clock and we'll probably take a nap then. And that'll be it. That's that's our fourth of July. But yeah, Sam, what are you doing? I know you're you're heading out of town Saturday. So uh, what do you got going for the fourth? Um, we are driving to Tennessee on Saturday. We have a cabin in the mountains in Pigeon Forge. Um, it's actually my nephew's birthday on the 4th of July. So we have, we're going to have just a little party there. My whole family will be in the cabin together. So just a little less than a week with my family in a cabin. So hopefully we all return. (laughs) So, um, how, how long of a drive is that from Indiana to Tennessee? Eight hours from where that's we are in bad. Indiana. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. I mean, with two five-year-olds. Oh well, I mean, download a lot of uh, stuff from the watch and mm. definitely go for that. Amber, how about you? What are your plans? <laughs> it is so funny because I have a nephew that's birthday is on the Fourth of July as well, and we just got a blackstone in our house too. This nice. is so weird. <laughs> right? Aren't they the best? <laughs> Just Synchronicities. Used it for the first time last night. I seasoned made, it on uh, Sunday, and I made some smash burgers belly. the other night. Ooh, mm. ooh. yeah, it's yeah. yeah. There's a whole new world out there, Sam. Um, Barry, Barry says Sam is. <laughs> well, Barry, wow. I mean, that's a my first Come on. my first stop is at Smoky Mountain Moonshine. So, <laughs> oh, there you go. And don't worry, we aren't drinking tonight as we record this. I well, promise. I mean, I'm not. But yeah, well, you guys. You, I'm the designated you, uh, I don't podcast know what you host. Call that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I normally do, but I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Um, what are you doing for the fourth, Amber? Anything? Nothing. I don't yeah. know. Nothing. Well, all That's the counties up here decide now that no, they they don't want to have fireworks, so it's going to be very quiet. Which and, is pretty smart, considering. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. I mean, it, it was 116 degrees on Monday, the highest temperature ever in Medford, Oregon. So. Um, yeah, it's it's so dry here right now. And then there's a fire down below us in Weed, which is about 80 miles away that the smoke is actually in our valley, which we live in a valley where it all just drops in and just sits here. So it'll probably be here for like a couple of weeks, I think. And there's ash everywhere and it just it sucks. Yeah. But yeah, it's very smart to, to not do that. So be safe if you guys are doing anything like that for 4th of July. And uh, let's get on with the news from our friends at the DizInsider.com. Make sure you check out Skyler and Derek's Patreon exclusive Diz Insider podcast. Um, yeah, and they also have a YouTube channel. 
We got some great interviews on there. And uh, like I said, we got all of our news on DisneySider.com because their sources are reliable. They double check their stuff and triple check it and make sure before they put out. And if they are wrong, Skyler will put out something saying, hey, we were wrong. But it's only happened once because I've been part of them. And that was with Harry Styles being in, in uh, Little Mermaid. But hey, that's, that's, that's okay anyway. So we I have to go see Harry. Disney's What's that? Side. We we use them also on our. Oh yeah, you, yeah. You, you, they have. I actually we have a group, and it's kind of it's kind of funny. We have a group of all the people that are right on there. It's something called Slack that everyone like communicates with. Like it's kind of like a group chat thing, and um, I know a lot of the stuff that's going to happen like the news before because they talk about everything in this group. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been reading some of this stuff. I'm reading their <laughs> reviews of Black Widow and all this stuff that they, they've all seen it and stuff already. I'm like, yeah, exclusive interviews and crap like that. They. It's a cool deal. It's a cool gig. Um, who has the first story? I think that's you, Amber. It is. It is. Did you have a I chance just, to read it? I did. Perfect. So it's <laughs> uh, about Disney's Honey, I Shrunk the Kid Kids continuation movie um, that they've tentatively titled Shrunk, but we haven't heard a whole lot about it since, you know, just the announcement that they were going to work on it. But Josh Gad had an interview recently Um where he just dropped a little tidbit, kind of updating fans that they expect to be able to start shooting early next year. That's cool. the current status. That's their hopeful tentative um, timeline. So. You know who's really excited about I that? Go Barry. Barry is so excited. Barry is probably he's yep. so excited. Yeah, I'm sure he, he is. Rick like, Moranis right is now. coming back yeah. for it, right? Like that's cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, Barry is like a Josh Gad simp. Um, big time, big time, big time, big time. Um, like love of, of his life. Yep, Sp <laughs> it's gonna be gadtastic. Danny says, <laughs> Gadtastic. <laughs> Speaking of our friends Bill and Barry, they will both hopefully be on with us next week as well. So that's kind of the plan to have them on next week. I reached out to them, just gonna try to get Chris on too. But Chris <laughs> Barry says, Barf vomit gag. He means Gad. That's what he's saying when he means Gad. Kind of Gad. Gad. Yeah, because he's a yeah. huge Josh Gad fan. And um, I can't wait to talk to him about it more in depth next week about his love for for uh, Josh Gad. And then Mary, I have a question for you. I see up here that there's a little um, crying emoji up here at the top yeah, of my page. Mary. And, it, and it says, Mary put a sad face. Are, are you sad that we were on tonight? Or I hope you pushed the wrong button or <laughs> sad. I mean, yeah, I she, Mary gave us like a us. sad face on the yeah. video. Maybe she doesn't like us. I Maybe mean. Mary. It's not here. It that would be why here. my mom would put a sad face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Sean, you know, either yeah. one. Yeah. You know, they take the show. Brianna is also, <laughs> she's actually on vacation as well. Brianna is actually in Hilton Head, she? Hilton Head, Ooh. South Carolina. So everyone's on vacation. Like, so it, it's it's a lot of fun. Mistake. It's all good, Mary. I, I was hoping it was a mistake. I said so, <laughs> we didn't want to make you sad. So, Joey, thoughts on Josh Gad, Rick Moranis, reboot of Honey I Shrunk the whatever? Well, I, I, I'm excited. I'm excited that Disney actually was able to get Rick Moranis out of retirement, right? Uh, to do this, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, I think they even did it. Brought him out for the uh, prop culture documentary, which is they really did. Cool. Yep, yep. But I'm excited. Um, the, the original movie came out when I was around sixth grade or something. So, uh, <laughs> took me 20, 30 years to actually see the little playground in Florida. So that was cool, but I'm excited. And, uh, you know, Gad, he likes to be a Disney, you know, you can tell he loves oh, being yeah. part of Disney. So for sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Perfect. Amber, what do you think? Excited? Yeah. I mean, it's a childhood classic, right? Right. So how can you not be to see what they're going to do with it? And when they bring back some of the old cast, I always love it yeah. when they do that. I think Honey, I Blew Up the Baby was better when he's like terrorizing Las Vegas. <laughs> I thought I thought that one was. Is that what it was called, right? Yeah. Honey, I Blew Up the Baby? Yeah. yeah I, he, I don't think I watched that. Oh, my God. So good, Sam. He, he instead of shrinking the kids, he like makes the one kid. Yes, yeah, like, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't no. a fan of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. But I was probably didn't have a very long attention span when it came out. <laughs> I still don't have a long attention span, but yeah, I don't think that I was ever, like ever really a fan of the movies. Okay, well, well, that prop cool. culture is pretty cool too. When it you, is when they talk about how they made some of that stuff. So if if you guys haven't watched that on Disney Plus, that's a great go to yeah, show oh, to sure. check out. That's probably one of the best episodes that show when he because he rebuilds the shrink machine and he like goes all over everywhere trying to find all the pieces to actually build it like right back to the you know thing. So. <laughs> Danny says, honey, I shrunk Paul Rudd. <laughs> okay, next story is about, um, we can't go through any 
episode of our show without talking about WandaVision somehow. So, <laughs> of course. so I even got my Wanda shirt on tonight. See? Okay. Oh, so um nice. cool right, check it out. This is my, mm-hmm. my first day at Disneyland shirt. My wife's they still got the couch you could take a picture on. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. My wife's <laughs> are happy about that shirt, by the way. So but uh, it's okay. Um so WandaVision, they came out when we were recording the Marvel Tribe on Sunday, they put out a this thing saying that they redid the ending of WandaVision. And we're like, we talked about it for a second on the Marvel tribe. And basically what they did was um, we were, me and Sam were talking before, and we think it was done to lead into obviously lead into Dr. Strange. They actually put the, the zoom in shot when she's sitting there on the, on the, on the house, they actually put more trees in there to make it look more full. And then I guess if you pay attention coming down from the hills is like a shadowy figure coming down towards the house. And if you don't look, you don't see it, but you kind of have to notice it. It looks like just a figure coming down. Speculation is that is probably going to be Dr. Strange because Dr. Strange was supposed to be in the finale, but then they opted to take him out the last minute. Um, There was also speculation that it could be, (laughs) <laughs> Danny says, I looked over the scene several times and I discovered it's definitely not Namor. So <laughs> we we have confirmation from Danny that it's not Namor for you, Sam. So it's probably not him. I'm sorry. I but, never um, said it was this no, time. <laughs> but did, did you guys see this? Any of you guys see this? I heard about it. I didn't get a chance to see it yet. Yeah, yeah I haven't got to see it yet. It's, I, I watched a couple of videos on it, so just break it down. Go ahead, Sam. I mean, oh, well, yeah, you, I mean, you described yeah. exactly what it is that we saw. Um, it's a very obscure figure. We can it's assume, weird. It's weird. we can assume that it is uh, Dr. Strange. Like that is the most logical reason, like reason right. or la- most logical being it could be. Um, and Sean, before we started, we were talking about how it very likely could be like the opening scene right. for the Dr. Strange, the next Dr. Strange movie. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they're just gearing everything up. They even changed in the in the credits. It said um, composer Doctor Strange theme. It actually said that at the end. They put that in the in the end credits of the show. Yeah. The, the, the weirdest thing is, and everyone is asking and seeing. Danny asked, or could it or could be Vision? Why would it be Vision? And why would they put? And the, and the, and the question is, is why would they put this in two months after the shows or three months after the shows ended? And what what's the purpose to it? It could be Vision. We don't know. But unless Vision is part of the Doctor Strange movie as well, which no one really knows, but bets are that's probably dr strange coming to confront her because she's reading the dark hold and his music's playing and trying to figure out <laughs> sounds like perhaps wanda isn't bad bill i've been saying that all along buddy thank you for sounds like she kidnapped an entire town of people and held they're them fine. hostage they're fine they're all fine okay if i held you in my basement for a month that would make me bad I, you could just change my mind and for, make me forget about it because that's what she did <laughs> I'd have to call Sylvie. <laughs> they, they had nothing going on after the blip. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. The whole Sylvie uh, thing, man. Oof. Um, next story. Who's got the next story? Oh, I'm sorry. We asked everyone's thoughts on that, right? Didn't I, did I ask everyone? I'm sorry, Amber. I did not ask you. I suck. What do you think? You did. I said I haven't seen it yet. So okay, perfect. I <laughs> gotta keep me see, Amber. Designated podcast host keeping us in track. Oh, Here we right. go. You're you're already in Disneyland mode. I, I totally get <laughs> it. Oh, buddy, you have I get it. I you get have it. no idea. I I have all this stuff downloaded and uh, I'll probably text you that over this next week and ask you how you did certain things. And but oh, absolutely. I, I haven't been there in three years. I feel like I haven't been there forever. So I can't even wait. I'm planning on going live like a thousand times when we're there. So if you do follow our page, I'll be live like half the time I'm there showing you rides and the band <laughs> and Mickey Mouse and I'm going to look for Wanda the whole time and see if I can find her. Maybe she'll show up when I'm there, but um, yeah. But next story is Sam, right? Oh, yeah, Sam. it is. Yeah. I've got some Disney plus news. Um, yes. They have the animated special of the descendants, which is going to be the Royal med, the Royal wedding coming on Friday, August 13th day after my birthday. Um, it's going to come right after the newest DCOM. I was excited when Sean gave me an article about DCOMs because my entire childhood was Disney Channel original movies. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I've seen almost all of them. So it's going to, that one, the DCOM is called Spin. And it is about a, an Indian American teenage girl who explores her artistic side through being a DJ. And they've done a really great job with um, creating that 
I think that they have a lot of buy-in. It's culturally appropriate. Um, so I'm probably going to end up talking about that on Dysology at some point with Rachel. But Spin's coming out August 13th. And right after that, they are going to do the animated, whatever they're calling it, the royal wedding for... Um, Descendants 4? The Descendants, yes. And yeah. it they will have the original cast... Um, all there everybody's coming back obviously cameron boyce won't be there um they do have like a an in memoriam type thing mm -hmm. planned for him throughout the yeah. the premiere so yeah august 13th yep. august 13th so do you think do you think that they went with an animated version of this because he passed away no no no, because, I mean, if they're doing without his character anyways, they are not replacing his character. Right. But I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's because they all still look really young. Yeah. I mean, them get I married mean, would be weird. And and the one girl just keeps changing her appearance. She probably is going to look the same anymore. So, uh, you know, so what's her name? Mal. Yeah. The one who plays Mal. Yeah. She just keeps changing her appearance. Joey, I know you're a big Descendants <laughs> fan, right? What do you think about this? Um, <laughs> now, this is probably the one thing, and, and not not just descendants, but I'm you know up there in age, but and I have no kids, so uh, I can't use that as, <laughs> as an excuse. Like when a uh, High School Musical came out, but um, no, I, I I don't know. That yeah. <laughs> I don't really follow the the decoms, right? It took me forever to watch this. Uh, honest to God, I finished Descendant 3 last week. That's honest how long it's taken me to watch these. The only reason I know what, what these are is because Ryan, the, the two-year-old, um, loves to watch Disney videos on YouTube. And somehow there's a loop in there now of like all these Descendant songs. And I'm like, what is this show? <laughs> and my kids said, Dad, you need to watch this. It's good because I like High School Musical. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm older than you probably, Joey, and I still like – like those kind of movies. I'm, I, like I like that one. That one surprised like, me. That's what I was like. Like, uh. like the Halloween ones, <laughs> the Halloween towns. I, I yeah, I, they were okay. <laughs> but the musicals, I think, are good. Um, I thought and Descendants was okay. I was kind of, I wasn't sure, but I understand. One of my first articles I actually wrote for Disney Insider was about Cameron Boyce passing. So it was, it's like the second article I wrote for, for when I started writing for them. And it was about how they were going to honor him and they were donating money to to his stuff. And about and this was like a week after he passed away, like just 20 years old, suddenly just, and, you know, it's just uh, from a seizure, just <laughs> passing away. It's crazy to watch. Yeah. And it's like to watch the videos and see a minute how lively he was and it's just like dang you know he was the kid that was in grown-ups he was in a, he was in a, in a bunch of other stuff too just sad stuff but yeah i'll watch it because i do a disney podcast now so i yeah. think i, I need I, to you know but <laughs> and i i think because I, I was really into like once upon a time when it came out then the yeah. end of the show was really bad and i <laughs> kind of got burned on it so i'm like well right. i don't need to watch a, a teenage version but that was just me I, I know friends that love it and stuff and i just never okay. got it <laughs> Amber, big Descendants fan? Um, I mean, I've caught some of it here and there because my niece and nephew watches it. So, mm -hmm. you know, when they come over, it'll be on. But I don't know enough to follow a plot line right. or right. the context. I mean, I understand the basic context of the stories, but that's about well, Let me it. tell you, there's this girl <laughs> named Mal. And no, <laughs> we can break it all down right now. We'll start from the beginning. No, we won't. But um, good stuff. Sam, are you excited for it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll and be. It'll be cute. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Next story is, um, I just put this in here a second ago. I thought this was funny that they announced, um, today Disney Plus announced that The Good, The Bart, and The Loki, a new Marvel-themed short from The Simpsons, will premiere July 7th. So, uh -huh. I just... So, it's going to be Loki and Bart against right. the Springfield's Mightiest. Yes. <laughs> yep, that's what it says. The toughest opponents yet, The Simpsons and the Springfield's Mightiest, and Springfield's Mightiest Heroes... The God of Mischief teams up with Bart Simpson in the ultimate crossover event, playing tribute to the Marvel Cinematic Universe of superheroes and villains. I love that Disney owns The Simpsons now, and they're doing this. I think this is so cool. I mean, and I think Loki, and and it's actually going to be Tom Hiddleston, is actually going to be the voice of Loki. So I I can't wait for this, because I think this is going to be fun. Because The oh, Simpsons, yeah. it's going to be great. Th what are you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, I love that, like the new original Simpsons are like are now Disney shorts, because that's how they started. You know, 
for the Tracy Alma show. Right. They're just little mm-hmm. mini shorts. So I, I like it, especially with now they could touch all the different uh, IPs. Mm-hmm. Jerry says he's never watched The Descendants. Jerry, if you have time, do it. They're they're not bad. Uh, I went and watched them over and over. Oh, sorry. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan What's Gorman. Up, Ryan? What's up, man? How are you? Haven't seen you in a while. So I uh, hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, Danny says, now, now that's what I call mischief. Absolutely. I think this will be so much fun. I've always enjoyed The Simpsons. I mean, The Simpsons have called every major news story like forever in the past yeah. however many years. So, I mean, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, Amber, what do you think? Yeah, that'll Sim- be fun. Sim- Simpsons and Loki. I mean, that's uh, yeah. Sam, I'm excited. Yeah, Bill yeah. says yes, yes. <laughs> so, I am looking forward to. It. I think it will be fun. Um, Last story we'll dive into here real quick is some just a little bit of parks news. We talked about the parks opening up with um, with Joey, but uh, a lot of restaurants are opening up here today, next week, uh, very, very soon. Um, at Disneyland, just real quick, the Hungry Bear Restaurant opens July 1st. Harbor Galley opens July 1st, which uh, both great places. Um, Cat Saka's Cat Saka's Kettle. I'm assuming that's in um, Galaxy's Edge. Um, is, is, is that the popcorn place? Oh, it might be. Yeah. Um, but opens, on, hmm. opens on July 15th. Um, Corn Dog Castle, I'm excited about this because I'll be there in a week, is opening on July 1st. Um, Lucky Fortune Cookery is open July 1st. Clarabelle's Hand Scoop Ice Cream July 8th. Then over at Walt, and that, uh, over at Walt Disney World, uh, Bill is very excited about this. Barry, not so much. Casey's Corner opened actually today, June, uh, June 30th. The Plaza Ice Cream Parlor opens July 7th. Uh, Dino Diner opens July 4th. And yeah, it looks like Trails End Restaurant in the Fort Wilderness Resort opens on July 17th. I don't know what any of those things are, but they sound cool. Um, Sam, are they cool places? Yeah. <laughs> D- uh, Dino Diners. What? No. Uh, no. no? No. Uh cat yeah, Katsaka's cat like kettle popcorn tastes like Skittles and farts. Okay, thank you, Barry. But I was it is it is Galaxy's Edge. I've heard the popcorns. I've heard that popcorn's really good. Well, not according to Barry. Not according to Barry, because cat sock is kettle is but his butt cheeks popcorn tastes like Skittles and farts. There we oh, go. Lovely. Listen for more of that next week on Walt's apartment <laughs> when Barry joins us live for more hot takes. So well, that that will be fun. So Hi um, Katie. Hi Katie, how are you? Um yeah. I'm excited. Uh, there's so much stuff opening up, and I was not I was unfortunate to get an Ogus Cantina um, group when I go next next week, but I have two Lamplight Lounge reservations. I have a dinner reservation on uh, Friday night and a, the brunch, which starts on the, the 10th at 930 in the morning. I'm very excited about that. They have this lobster flight of, nachos. Yes, lobster nachos, this flight yes. of mimosas. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about Disneyland this time because this for the first time, I'm not managing 20 people with me. <laughs> so I, I will be drinking a lot. So I, Mary I probably, likes the popcorn. Okay. Barry says, I really didn't like it. Make sure you get a Ronto wrap. That is on yes. the list. That, that will be, that will be, we are going to Disneyland on Thursday, on, on, on Friday, the 9th, first. So that will be our, we will go in, we will go left, we will go through Adventureland, we will hit Pirates, Haunted Mansion, and move right into, right into um, Galaxy's Edge. I've never seen it. Awesome. And I that's, cannot... that's the perfect direction to go for your first time. Yeah. In my opinion. Oh, c- c- coming into Galaxy's Edge? Yeah, coming from yeah. that uh, Splash Mountain, you know, yeah. side. I cannot wait. Just because you, you, you get everything nice and slowly, and it <sighs> builds up. As, uh, it's so cool. Yeah. If you want to see a fat man cry on, on live Facebook, um, watch next week because you'll probably <laughs> see that a lot. So you yeah. got my video from when it opened, too. So. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I, I, this Did so you cry, much. Joey? I, I teared up a little bit. I can't uh, wait to see the Millennium Falcon. Every time I see the Millennium Falcon, even though when I saw it in Florida, I tear it up every time just seeing yeah. it for the first time. <sighs> and even my, my uh, Christy, a co-host, she recorded me like, you going to cry? You going to cry? And, uh, it, you know, I had stage fright because of it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I mean, but, I was watching a cast member like preview of like Happily Ever After last night. I was sitting at home <laughs> sobbing. Oh, yeah. You guys know my thoughts on that now after seeing that fireworks show a couple weeks ago. That I can't wait to see all the fireworks. I know a little bit more parks news. They are testing fireworks tonight, Wednesday's uh, June 30th at Disneyland at 930. So they did a 
Gothic Rose, you said that they're they're testing fireworks tonight. Mm -hmm. So that's that's cool. So because they're they're back on the fourth, I believe they're yeah. back tomorrow at um, Magic at a Magic Kingdom, correct? Tomorrow or today? I thought, uh, I thought it was the uh, first. I could be wrong. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Is it tomorrow? Is tomorrow the thirtieth? Tomorrow's the first. No, today's the, today's, today's the thirtieth. Okay, yeah, tomorrow's today's the thirtieth. Okay. Yeah. The uh, Falcon Barry is says, an unbelievable reveal. Seeing pictures of it is one thing. In person, yeah. it's incredible. It's true. I can't yeah. wait. I I I'll be recording so you won't see me cry. You might hear me sniffle. But um, yeah, it's I. There's so many things that this time with it being so long, me not being there three years, and I'm ready to see Walt's apartment for the first time since I've started a podcast called Walt's apartment. So um, just, just everything. I, it's going to be amazing. So if you're going to be around next Thursday and Friday, Friday and Saturday, I mean, uh, definitely keep an eye out for our stuff. Let's get into um, some, what do we got here? Oh, Dave is not here. So getaway today is very cool. They're a great, they're a great travel agent. Um, they get you their, some. They, yeah, thank <laughs> you. They, they helped him plan his trip. Um, I used them to book my hotel. It was very easy, very quick. Um, the link is in our show notes. You can help us out by clicking on the link and booking your trip. And to quote David himself, Sam? Get you some. Get you some of get the way today. Absolutely. It's like Danny says here as well. Get you some. <laughs> That's a t-shirt, right? It might be. It I mean, be. We, we should make some t-shirts, honestly. Yeah. 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 Do some marketing there. Um. I know I'm going to cry and when I go get get to WDW. Uh, I'm, I'll be with her with you, Mary. I hear you. So, um, next thing, Marvel. Do you guys want to watch the Shang Chi the Shang Chi trailer? Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like doing that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, okay. I, I of course. Watched it yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I need to find it here. Talk amongst yourselves while I do my. my I actually had a dream about the trailer. Whoa. Is it Shang Chi or Shang Chi? I've heard Shang. two different. Is I was Shang? on a Shang. Shang. Because because uh, David put that thing in our group the other day, and I wasn't sure if he was serious or not. But about it. it's actually Shang Chi. I don't know if it's Shang Chi, Shang Chi. Um, well, let me let me Google it real quick. Let me ask okay. the Google. Okay, you're gonna <laughs> ask, ask the Google. Google. Ask the Google. Um, here, uh, uh, Joey, answer this question while I bring up the video for for Barry. Okay, there you go. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a good so. Question. I did not have the blue or green milk ever <gasps> at Disneyland. Oh, wow. <laughs> but so, but I had it for the first time at uh, Hollywood Studios, and there they have it with rum, the blue milk. So, oh, okay. I'm in on so, that. Uh, like I said, so, I'm getting drunk this time the whole time. So, that's but, 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 but they don't have it at Disneyland. Really? Rum. Yeah. That's a, that's a bunch of crap. So, <laughs> yeah. it is. I'll have to figure out something else out there. Okay. You ready for this? And then we'll get the answer from Sam after we watch it. Here we go. Can you hear it? Yes. Okay. Throughout my life, the Ten Rings gave our family power. If you want them to be yours one day, you have to show me you are strong enough to carry them. You are a product of all who came before you. The legacy of your family. You are your mother. And whether you like it or not, you are also your father. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. <laughs> Glad I was right. You're just a criminal who murders people. Be careful how you speak to me, boy. I thought I could change my name. Start a new life. But I could never escape his shadow. My son, you can't run from your past. Namor. Stop. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? You got 
this. Thank you. Right. Okay. <laughs> so before we move on, <laughs> Simo Liu, Simo Liu, the guy who is playing in the film, says it is Shang Chi. Okay. Shang-Chi. He came out on Twitter May 6th and said that. Okay, that's fair. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Amber, what do you think? Looks good. I like that act. Well, I like uh, quite a few actors in that movie, yeah. actually. But Kim's Convenience is uh, a really fun show that he plays the son in. Yes. Um, that I'm a fan of. So this will mm-hmm. be good. I mean, and like... David talked about a little bit on the Mar- Marvel Tribe, like the comic accurate, like abomination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if that's who it was. I was like, is that yeah. abomination? <laughs> it is. It is. Wow. Um, and he was yeah, fighting Twitter, like a. It was Wong. One of the, it's oh, Wong. it's Wong from it's Doctor Wong. Strange. It is. Yeah, that was. Oh. Um, wow. That article. That. that article was put out on Disney Star today. That uh, Feige did confirm that that's Wong that he's fighting oh. from. So there's more ties to. Ooh. The doc that Doctor Strange movie, everything is tying to that movie. <laughs> so it's 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 crazy. Um, I gotta tell you guys what what uh, David did to us on on Sunday night uh, before we record the Marvel Tribe. I think this came out that day or the day before, and I put it in our group and everyone watched it. And David puts in there, oh my god, Abomination and Namor in the same trailer, <laughs> and and he was like mind blown. You know the mind blown emoji, like he was serious and. I watched that damn thing 10 times from trying to find this. <laughs> try, and I'm thinking, what the hell is he talking about? And then Sam was just getting upset. And I was like, I, I, he said that, and I, like, clicked on it. I was like, oh, he's just, like, messing with me. So I, like, clicked on it. I was like, so yeah. I responded. I was like, why you got to do me like that, David? So, and then he actually put a picture of the of the underwater scene when, uh, you know, the, the, you, have, you see the skull or the, the dragon, and there's a little speck. Yeah, he, he circled little, it. He circled a little speck saying, there's Namor. It's just good. Ah. That's David Van Hook. Um, I said, actually, that's the dragon that Gorgon called upon. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. So Ryan says, this looks amazing. Um, Allison, how are you doing tonight? Says, that looks awesome. Jerry says, that's cool. Bill says, what up, George? And George Millsop, how are you doing? George says, fourth quarter, but in the game. So uh, I think there's a game going on. Is there some kind of football game? Is there what's going no, on? No, he's right saying now? he's Our late. Game. He's late, oh, but he's oh, here. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I saw something about Mississippi State pop up on ESPN here, so I wasn't sure if something was happening. So I don't know the Stanley Cup is on. Yeah. That's why Ryan's not here. So <laughs> okay. Well, it's because he's in Canada. You can't do anything yeah. but watch a Stanley Stanley Cup, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, it's like everything shuts down and they do nothing. Ryan, we're gonna get you on here sometime for sure. So um thoughts on the trailer, Joey. What do uh, you think, buddy? The thing that usually uh, grabs you on trailers is music. So I, I really dug the sound, the yeah. song that was playing. The action was great. I'm really excited for this movie, but I feel like somebody's going to superimpose the uh, uh, the song from Mulan <laughs> into the trailer. Because <laughs> yeah. the whole time I'm just thinking, like, let's get down to business while they're, <laughs> while they're training. But I'm, uh, I'm really excited. The rings, really awesome. the rings look awesome. Yeah. Because, like, it, like, they're, they're, they're rings in the comic world, but like, right. and yeah, David talked about that. They're rings, but I hear they're bracelets, which I think is the cool. They're thing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, it looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I love Uncle Fina. She's hilarious. Yeah. Sam thoughts. I'm excited. I mean, there's no name more, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Mary says better late than never George. And no, I don't, George. <laughs> if you did, it would be fine. That's right. Yep. All bus sizes are acceptable here. Yes. And all writers um, are welcome. So I want to talk about Loki a little bit. Uh, we talked a little bit about, about episode three, but I we need, we need to get a response from episode four. Or do we even talk about episode three? Do we care about that at this point? Or do we just want to go right to four? But we can't say anything, Sam, because it's like, 12 hours in for the show being on, but there's a, mid, it, there's a mid roll credit scene. That's all I'm going to say. Don't miss the mid roll credit scene because Ooh, I was yeah. hyper, hyper ventilating. I was hyper ventilating. Right. It, it seems David like Marvel- had to tell me to breathe. <laughs> yeah. It seems like on the Marvel shows, the mid credit scenes are starting like the second to last mm-hmm. episodes of the yeah, season. Yeah, they they did they did they. Yeah, I kept watching all the episodes every time, all the way through. Going, I mean, they've got to do it somewhere, right? They got to keep us on our toes. 
Danny said, is it safe to say Loki is quite beside himself? Yes, I think it's safe to say that, oh, Danny. <laughs> snap. Uh, Brian says, having star Loki, Falconer, and Winter Soldier. Falcon and Winter Soldier was okay. I didn't love WandaVision. Brian, I haven't talked to you for a while, buddy, but um, that, that's a problem. So WandaVision was great. So <laughs> was Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, David, David made, made a, a comment today. Sorry. He, Ooh, he, he did, he, go ahead. Our brain, go ahead. Our brain yeah, wink. Our, I can't even talk. Our brain waves here. Um, David made a comment today that this was the best Disney Plus episode to be released of any show yet. And I saw a lot of people online saying that. And I said that to Amber when yeah. we got on today. And she said, nope. Yeah, I, and, and Amber makes really uh, makes a really good point to this because I, when David said that, I'm like, yeah, it was pretty good. But I mean, I'm a Disney Parks guy, and I think the first episode of the Imagineering story was was really good too. So, you know what I mean. So, but the best show so far on Disney the best Plus? episode, yeah, yeah, no, I think I think Amber hit hit three more that were. That, that 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 were bigger moments than this so far. Is it? But I haven't episode. seen it it's yet, so I can't really say. But there's no way it could be a bigger moment than Luke. Mm -mm. Like I, I the world lost its ever loving mind, even if they yep. weren't Star Wars fans. Like mm -hmm. that was big. It was big. Yeah. Yeah. No, I for sure. Um, I felt like I was watching a movie today, though it was so good. Oh, it was. Don't get me wrong. And oh, until good. Amber, until Amber said that. I probably would have agreed that, but she started throwing out the the, the introduction of, of of baby baby Grogu was huge too. Yeah. Luke Skywalker, come on, yeah. that was no bringing one Boba any... back. I mean, yeah. Yeah. there are too many of those like iconic moments that have happened in Disney Plus. So I it, even five. the even the final four episodes of Clone Wars that yeah. coincide with the uh, Rise of Skywalker or uh, whoa, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. How they tie into Order 66. Uh -huh. So yeah. Barry says WandaVision is better, but Barry's also on season one, episode three of Mandalorian. Well, I think he's on episode <laughs> four now by now. It oh, might be okay. Four. Yeah. So Barry, you you have to watch all that by next week so we can we That's can break right. it all down. I'm okay? gonna be quizzing. I'm gonna be quizzing <laughs> you. Yeah. Um, you're a big Star Wars guy, aren't you, Joey? Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't know what would give to... you that idea, Sean. Well, I just I mean, I don't know, the hat. The... <laughs> Look at his background. I know. Yeah. So you're gonna do Marvel and Star Wars. So. There you go. Let's get you on Force Friday with with Amber someday. Oh, oh anytime. and we were gonna record. We were so <laughs> planning to record on Friday, but Jade's new puppy had to go to the vet for oh, an no. issue. Oh, hope so all we is ended okay. Up not doing it. But, <laughs> anytime. But we're going though. to do. We're gonna do the mid season Bad Batch review and catch nice. up for everybody. Um, Barry says he's on episode six. He's moving along at a nice pace. Good yes. job, friend. Proud of you. <laughs> Yeah, you have moving up in the yeah, world. One and a half episodes, one and a half seasons to watch by next week. So good luck to you. <laughs> um, I need to call quick. myself about four times to watch all these shows. I Absolutely. feel you, Mary. What is uh, George says? I know nothing about Star Wars and Marvel. I look forward to Pixar Vision. <laughs> there you go. All right, George. So, <clears throat> episode four. What do you think of it, Joey? Um, don't, I, say, I, don't, I, don't give anything away. Just oh, I, I won't. I, I kind of got a uh, had a crunch watch before uh, we went on this evening, and uh, it, no, it was really good. I think it was the the best episode of the season for Loki. Yeah, and it's been a really good season. It's been really. Mm -hmm. I, I was kind of confused on the last episode. I don't know if I missed like so many stuff. I was the same way, man. I and because uh, normally I'm like, that. okay, I, I see what they're doing, but I was like, whoa, I don't have no idea what's going on here. But I, but it, but it was still uh, really fun to watch. But yeah. uh, th this episode was really good, even before, uh, like Sam yep. said, the uh, mid credit scene. But yeah, make sure I, you guys do stay for the mid credit yeah. scene for sure. Um, yeah, episode three, I was so confused. Um, I sat and watched Sam eat cake and talk about it. So I mean, that's <laughs> that, that's how that's how I was just. She was eating cake during our recording. Uh, maybe we should put that out there just someday. She just, I mean, she brings it into the screen like this and just rubs it on all of our face. That. <laughs> She's eating cake while we're trying to record a podcast at. We were about. recording. No, well, it was to be fair. It was like we had been rec we recorded for an hour and a half. Yeah, and it was like nine thirty, ten o'clock here, and I was my cake was just sitting there, and it was lonely. Just have, just have cake lying around your studio or whatever. But yeah, it was a great me. episode, huh? Don't judge. Not me. at all. 
Not at all. I mean, I 10 o'clock I, is totally snack time. So Absolutely. It's totally cake you. time. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely, um, yeah, I, episode four was great. Sam, what would you think of episode four? And the girl does need her cake. So I. Oh, know, it was amazing. I, yeah. I, 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 my head is so screwed up, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Marvel Tribe tonight, like, I am jumping at the seams. Like, I'm, like, bursting at the seams to just talk about it with everyone. Right. And. <sighs> Well, was, David is I, David. Go ahead, sorry, Joel, I'll, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm not spoiling anything here, but I'll just say I was really, really excited to see an old, uh, one of my favorite old characters pop pop up. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, and that doesn't spoil anything. You'll you'll see. You'll know who it is. So that's um, yeah. It was a great episode. It was fun. Um, leaves a lot for the last two episodes. Now I've heard this might be a more than one season show. So I mean, it could it could, but it, for the for the for the next two episodes, there's a lot. Uh, but like David said, they're doing this not like this, where it's leaving you a lot of like, oh, my God, they have to wrap all this stuff up before the end. It's it's just a really smooth, you know. They're, everything's just leading into yeah. the the, right. the movies, mm -hmm. leaving into and the movies, the theatrical releases. Danny, you're right. He is talking about Mephisto. Absolutely. Exactly. So, exactly. It was Mephisto. So it was actually have, Agatha all along. It was. It, it, the whole thing is to come back to Agatha. So that's what's going to yeah. happen. So. We have a game. A friend of mine um, helped me set up, come up with these questions for this game, and I, I appreciate that, friends. So, um, if you're listening, when you listen to this, um, they helped us set, set this up, and I appreciate you helping me out. So, um, we're gonna do a little Disney, Disney World, Walt Disney World, um, Fourth of July, uh, Star Spangled Fourth of July trivia questions. So, have a little fun before we go here. And uh, David is inbound for to come record Marvel Tribe. I think Brianna's going to try to make it on. He just texted me and said he's, he's, he's on his way. So um, let me find the game here. Star Spangled Trivia. Here we go. And this. I hope he gets on the Honda Mansion. <laughs> yeah, he he will. He, he has four days. He better get on it. <laughs> <laughs> so these are good questions, and I don't know a lot of this stuff. So have you been to Walt Disney World, Joey? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've been so. four times and just recently okay. in January. Okay, question one's for you then. Are you ready? No. All right. <laughs> sure. In the Carousel of Progress, what song is Uncle Uncle Orville humming in the bath? Your choices are God Bless America, Your Grand Old Flag, or the Star Spangled Banner. I have not been on this ride in a while, but... I never have, so... <laughs> I want to... <laughs> what, what song does he whistle? It says, what song is he humming? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to say "Grand Old Flag" because that's the more most hummable song. Okay, I think. All right, let's see what anyone on the um, Facebook user says. "Grand Old Flag," um, Facebook user, you can you can click on the stream it, on the thing where it says "Streamyard" there, and it will give you um, rights to have your name show up there. But uh, we still welcome having you on. So, Facebook user says "Grand Old Flag." Danny says "B," which is "Grand Old Flag," and the answer is anyone else have a choice? Uh, Samantha, Amber. I think it's Grand Old Flag too. I know your listeners right. are usually on it. On it, yeah. So. <laughs> Everyone's just waiting for Mary to make her answer. So that's what. That, <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I always trust Danny too. Yeah, D D Danny is, is spot on pretty much too all the time. So, um, the answer is Grand Old Flag. You're a Grand Old Flag. Um, good job. Yeah. Um, Amber, you've been to, you've been to Disney Disneyland. So Mary's Mary Disney. confirmed. Mary did confirm it. It is Grand Old Flag. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So um, Disneyland here. Uh, what time is the flag retrieval ceremony at Disneyland? Your choices are 4.15, 4.30, or 5.15 p.m. It seems like there's some significance here I should know. Have you ever seen that? The flag retrieval? It's nope. pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm going to say 4.30. Okay. Joey? Just because time of day wise, always being light, like pre twilight time, even in the winter. I'm okay. gonna guess that's my logic because I really have no clue. Perfect, <laughs> Mary. Joey, what do you think? Mary, help me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's. Uh, I know it's four fifteen or four thirty. Okay, one of those. And Sam, how about you? Four fifteen. It, but it's. It, I believe it's for the reason that Amber said. Um, but it takes them a little, like they want it done and right. out of the way by five o'clock. Uh -huh. So it takes them and, a little bit longer to do it. Um, Danny says going to guess B and then Mary says it's five, it's five, it's 5 PM at WDW. Um, the answer is four fifteen. 
So that's all right. Okay. Um, Sam, this is just a multiple choice. It's, it's about Disneyland, so you can just guess. Are you ready? Um, what year did Disneyland first launch fireworks? Choices are 55, 56, or 59. Don't think they were there opening day, like the opening year even. Right. Mm, I'm going to say 56. Okay. Amber, Joey, thoughts? Uh, I want to yeah, I want to say 59 because okay. 59 okay. opened up a lot of new stuff. Okay. Uh, the answer is 56. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> that nine was upside down. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. in 1960 was the first year that they started firing them electronically when they started using the electronic mortars. So, oh. so I'm going to go here. You've been to. I feel like that was something we talked about with Gina. I think, yeah. And Maybe I, I, that's I, why it rings yeah. a bell for me. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to you, Joey, on this one. Have you seen Muppet Vision 3D? Yes. Okay. Here's a question then. In Muppet Vision 3D, what is the title of Sam Eagle's glorious three-hour finale? Is it... A, a salute to all nations, but mostly America. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's the answer. Okay. Thanks. I am Thanks. Sam Eagle. Thanks for, let, thanks for letting me get my... my oh, uh, sorry, sorry. That's all good. Okay, yeah. Yep. Oh, hey, you're right. Exactly. You're absolutely right. <laughs> um, Sam... Carousel of Progress. Who is John and Sarah going to the Ladies Club Fourth of July celebration as? Choices are Abe and Mary Lincoln, John and Jackie Kennedy, or George and Martha Washington. George and Martha Washington. Do do we want to let the? Um, Sorry. Do we do, do we want to let the uh, people here? Anyone on? <laughs> you guys know this stuff pretty easily. The answer is George and Martha Washington. Yes. That's uh, all right. My question, I will always wait for them because I usually have no idea. <laughs> okay, here's, an an here's a question for you. There's two more. I think I have right. two more. Here we go. Um, right, Amber, how long are the Celebrated America Fireworks show at Walt Disney World? You have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes? That's how so obscure. So how long is the fireworks show itself? I mean, it's obscure. It's a great question. At my friend Walt came Disney up with World. these, helped me out a lot. I didn't have to come up with a game this week because my friend helped me out. So, friend, thank you so much for coming up. Who's with the questions. friend? It's a good, good it idea. It doesn't matter. I can't say. You it's, a friend who, it's a friend who doesn't want to be, doesn't want to be what? known. Yeah, hmm. that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to guess. Smack it in minutes. the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you what you guess? The answer is always B. <laughs> no, I just said the 15s right in the middle of the 10 and the 20. Yeah. yeah. That's the answer. I have no that's idea. 15. <laughs> that's 15 okay. minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've all seen Mainstreet Electrical Parade, right? Yes. Everyone see here, seen the Mainstreet Electrical Parade? On a video? Joey? Yeah. Yeah, Joey, video. What, what words appear on the America float in the finale of the Mainstreet Electrical Parade? Your choices are, in God We Trust, To Honor America, or United We Stand? Uh, that will be B, To Honor America. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah. My process of elimination, right? Because United We Stand didn't really become a thing till nine eleven, right? Wasn't that kind of a newer mm -hmm. turn of no. phrase? I don't know, I don't but know. It, and God We Trust better is on quarters, so it's been around for a while. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I know the answer. So, <laughs> anyone else have a an idea, an answer over here? I trust uh, Joey. <laughs> 15 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. Yes, it was 15 minutes. George and Martha, yes. Um, let me get back here to this. Yes, the answer is to honor America. And that was our fun game to honor to honor America on the 4th of July weekend. <laughs> so that, it, that worked out nicely. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, Amber? Wait, yeah, Amber, tell us about Force Friday. Um. Well, I already mentioned we're, we're, we really are trying to plan a, a Bad Batch mid-season review. Perfect. Well, I'll just that put this at the end this time. Soon. Mixing it up. Promise. So, Promise. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I'll also throw out there that there's some cool, if you like are just in the mood for something quick and need an escape from this universe, they have some cute little shorts on the Star Wars channel and Disney Plus right now um, where you can take a tour, a virtual tour of a lot of the... Um, uh, why am I... 
spacecraft. The ships, yeah. <laughs> the ships, thank you. <laughs> and then something called biomes, which are little, uh, it's like a quick little like virtual tour of some of the planets and like iconic landscapes <laughs> of the Star Wars universe. So oh, right this is just kind of a fun little like mini escape into the into the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I was calling those soaring over Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sam, Dizology. What's ha- what's coming up on Dizology? Um, Rachel and I just recorded an episode on Disney's America, which mm-hmm. is actually, it was really fun to talk about. Um, I know a lot of people don't really know a lot about it, but it was actually, it got a lot of coverage, press coverage, and there were a lot of protests surrounding it. So check that out. It's coming out Friday, I believe. So Okay. And also yeah. while we have you, tell us what, um, tell us about Extra Magic Hour. Extra Magic Hour is our park show where we do tips, tricks, we talk about parks news, and I do an Imagineering feature. Right. Will we have one next week or no? An Imagineering feature? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I I will not be on recording with you guys, but I am sending you my recorded part. You're the best. I appreciate it. And then also we have the Marvel Tribe, which is our Marvel podcast, which is... uh, out there right now which is covering all things loki so um definitely check out all of our shows check out sean's disney beat when he returns sean will be back he did tell me the other day we we talk pretty much every other day he just grilled me about my uh my trip disneyland where i was staying what i had reservations for <laughs> when i'll be there what park i'm going in first but um he will be there um oh yes uh, he will be back with the Disney beat. He's back up in Seattle now, so he'll be up there more. And he says he'll be back on the show here hopefully soon. Um, put that back up. What did that say real quick? Um, Mary did say, in case you missed it, you should check out Chris Alardi on the Pandas show on YouTube. It was amazing. It was a very good show. Chris Chris did a great job. Chris is one of our Marvel Tribe hosts. Which brings us to the end. Uh, tell us about your show, where we can find it, uh, Joey. Oh, sure. And uh, once again, before that, uh, when you guys go to Disneyland, the Loki interaction is really good. That's what I've heard. I so, can, it, it changes all the time. I've heard the, so, the guy's spot. The, the guy is spot on. So nice. And um, and he's the only one that's not up above. He's actually uh, ground level with everybody. Oh, cool. Right on. So tell us about your show again. Where we can find it. Yeah, when well, it usually comes out. When it will come out. <laughs> uh, we hopefully we'll be recording next week, and it's a kind of a delayed uh, trip report slash Ryan's first ever Disney World trip. Also, because. Okay. He, he couldn't have enough of Disneyland, so he left straight to Disney World from there. Perfect, and uh, had a had a great time. Uh, but yeah, we'll, so we'll be talking about that. We'll be streaming back on uh, YouTube real soon. Um, I'm scheduling on my Tiki Cast. I want to have a, a returning guest who was a who is a uh, Trader Sam's uh, skipper, which is a bartender there, and looking oh, nice. forward to it. Yeah, so I know they're getting excited because they're getting ready to open again uh, real soon, but. Um, we're everywhere you can find uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. Um, cool. We're just uh, you know testing the waters on YouTube, so we're having fun with that. And that's Disney Universe uh, DUTV on YouTube or Disney Universe Podcast uh, everywhere else. Sweet. Well, again, man, I appreciate you coming on with me. Um, oh, absolutely. All of us, uh, we we <laughs> love you. You've been a part of even back to the decast. So I know we talked about this so much. So, but um, appreciate you. Appreciate your whole crew. And um, yeah. That's that's going to bring us to the end of the show this week. Um, I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. Be safe. Don't do anything stupid. Don't hold bottle rockets in your hands. Don't do anything like that. Just uh, have a good time. Be safe. And um, from all of us here at Walt's Apartment, we hope you enjoyed the view. Have a great night. We'll see you next week. Good night, guys.